Hey everybody, I'd like to welcome you to a quick tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use the Leaming LUTs in Final Cut Pro. So the first thing you're going to want to obviously do is import your footage. Then after that, you'll highlight them all, assuming that you shot them all with the same profile. So in this case, I did all with the Cine 2. You can highlight them all by clicking and dragging, or I prefer Command A. Once you've done that, go over to the Inspector menu by clicking this icon if it's not open then click the little eye icon then go all the way to the bottom left and make sure you switch from basic to general or whatever setting you have set just make sure it's on general that will open up this line right here called camera LUT click there scroll all the way to the bottom and we're going to add in our LUTs this is something you only have to do one time find the folder that your LUTs are stored in so wherever you save them when you download them then click open I've already done that, so now I go back to the camera LUT line, scroll down to where I see Leaming LUT, then pick the profile that I used, which in this case is Cine 2, click the profile, and I'm done. It's as easy as that, and if I go by each clip, notice that they all have the profile applied. So let's do another example. Let's say that we've shot footage in S-Log. S-Log is a more flat picture profile. S-Log 2 is what this one is. We'll go over to camera LUT, find Leaming LUT Pro, Go all the way to the bottom, and that's S-Log for that one. One more time with S-Log 3, same thing. These flat picture profiles are going to be a much more dramatic shift. Finally, I want to show you how the HLG profiles, if your camera has the HLG profiles from Sony, how they behave in Final Cut. It's a little squirrely, and I don't know why. Notice right here, the picture looks pretty good. It's maybe a slightly overexposed, and then as soon as I drag it to the timeline, it is way overexposed. No big deal. Simply go over here, hit Leaming LUT Pro, and find the profile, which in this case is HLG, and you're good. One other final point is if you pick the actual uh, clip in the browser, then change the LUT, which I'll do right here, notice that all of a sudden it gets very dark. And you might think, man, I've underexposed this. As soon as you drag to the timeline, it's corrected. So in other words, if you drag to the timeline, it's going to look overexposed. Then when you apply the LUT, everything looks fine. And then if you apply the LUT before you drag it to the timeline, then it may look underexposed as you see right here with these two clips. Either way, once the LUT is applied, they look perfectly normal in the timeline. All right, so that ends the tutorial. I hope you go out and check out the LUTs. They're at leaminglutpro.com. They're fantastic. I bought the Sony version of these LUTs, but there are several other camera manufacturers out there, so maybe they have one for your camera, but they're great. They're a corrective LUT, and what that means is it takes your footage from your camera, corrects it for like skin tone issues, color casting, and also allows you to use the full dynamic range of your camera, and I think that's a great thing, especially when they're so easy to use once you know how to use them in Final Cut Pro. Also, one quick note, make sure if you do buy them, you read the guide because setting up your camera but also exposing correctly is very important or you'll probably get disappointing results. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit the like button. It lets me know to keep producing content like this. Also, feel free to share your thoughts on this video by commenting below. Finally, you can also support this channel by subscribing. Speaking of subscribing, if you like this content and don't want to miss any of my future videos, then click on the little bell icon so you'll be notified as soon as I publish my next video. Until then, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.